Hey there guys, and what is going on? Ragged Rock here, and welcome back to another episode of Area 32. That is right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I have not had an Area 32 in almost a week. It has been crazy hectic, my schedule, guys, as far as videos go. I'm trying to produce tons of videos for you guys, and it's actually become a lot, lot harder um, than I thought to produce this many videos. And so I'm still sort of getting used to my schedule, and uh, yeah. So, what did I just find? Wait a minute. What the heck? Huh? What did I just find? Okay, so as you can see, I marked this right here as suspicious. And for those that were at my live stream, you'll recognize some of these areas. Um, over there, where you can see where it says snake on my screen, that is an area where we found an area that many of you guys said you saw snake located at. And you weren't sure if he was near there or anything. Um, but I've been looking around the area... And um, I went about a thousand blocks away, as you can see, and I found this. And I, I'm not sure if it has any relation to Snake, though. I just noticed the light over there because it's nighttime. So we're going to go into that in just a sec. But I found all these rainbow sheep, which can only be like this or only obtained through lucky blocks. So someone has been in this area, and we don't know who yet. And I also found someone else's base in the process. So we'll go over that in a sec as well. Um, wait a minute. You know whose base this might be? I think I know whose base this is, actually. This might be actually be an old player's base who's in the series. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I'm just noticing this head right here. This is actually Lion Maker Studios' head, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, but he's not in the series any longer. Um, so we don't have to really worry about that. Yeah, see, it's donated by Lion's number one fan. So if he has anything we need, I'm not going to take it because I don't want, I'm not going to take that type of stuff without permission. But if that's the case, however... Um, that means these are probably his base, and we'll check in a sec by just breaking, let's break down this door here, and we'll just give it a check out, see if this is, oh, wow, is this natural? And then you got cobblestone here, what is going on here? I'm not sure if this is natural or someone actually spent the time to build this thing, this is incredible. Um, this is absolutely incredible. I wonder if the other tree has this as well, or any of the other redwood trees I've seen. Now, I originally I thought this was maybe a hint towards Snake's base, and that's why I wanted to explore it with you guys live in Area 32. You know, like, um, I wanted to do this in a video. I didn't want to... Let me break... Can I not break down redwood? Is it that difficult? Why is this not breaking? You know what? I bet this axe, if I were to break this, it would break down the entire tree. So I should probably be careful of that. And just, yeah, I'll break it with my fist because if I were to use this, I feel as though it would break down the entire tree. And I don't know if it's going... I don't want it to break down the entire tree because breaking down a tree this big would probably be catastrophic to the server, especially where it's two and three, three giant trees. There's, there's the possibility I could see this crashing the entire server. So we don't want to risk that. It doesn't look like there's anything here. It looks like this was just Lion Maker's very old base. And so there's really nothing special about this. And I saw this as well. So it really it doesn't look like it was much. Um, but something I do want to point out, guys, if you look at my HP right now, you're going to notice how there's this golden strand around it, these golden sort of runic icons. And the reason is I actually have this thing called runic shielding now. And I put on a ring. And so now I'm actually protected from damage. Um, I only have runic shielding one, so it's not that good yet. But I'm going to be able to get runic sh shielding up to, I believe, 30 30 something and if i get it to 30 i <laughs> i can't take damage um it's really it's really op it, i mean i can technically take damage but it won't be much damage and i want to go ahead and show you guys we're going to fly over here to where it says snake and we're going to go to snake's base um or not snake's base excuse me we don't know where that is yet but we're going to head over this direction and head towards the little area where we believed snake might be and i haven't actually checked out this area too much yet um, but we know that snake, well, according to the live stream, we know that snake was definitely in this area and we have a few bit, bits of proof, uh, to prove that he was in this area and we're going to go over those in just a sec. So we've been here, um, this enchanted forest or, um, as they're called, uh, what are they, what are they, a uh, mystic forest or, uh, I'll think of the, I'll think of the word in a minute. It's the, whatever these type of trees are, these, um, uh, what are they? I always forget the name of these trees. I always call them mystic forests and mystic trees, but they're actually a yeah, silverwood forest and silverwood trees. And they protect against taint. And so from what I understand, we're assuming that they're somewhere in this forest because why, where else would they be? Now, this is going to bring us to a village up here, which is where <clears throat> we originally found this area that resembled Snake's base. And um, the reason we noticed it, it resembled Snake's base is, um, well, th this I didn't see for a woman. I just want to really check this. Um, is there anything in here? Nothing really. I'll take the obsidian. 
uh, instead of the torch but honestly we, we recognize this immediately because if we look here we can clearly see that one someone blew up this area and this was after we already checked out the first time it was not blown up but two there was this thing in the video and there was bedrock here that showed a lucky block had been opened here and in the exact same video snake had gone by that and snake had also gone by a few other things in this area that we recognized a few houses that looked like identical and a few different angles and then to end off his episode he ended up flying in I believe it was this direction towards where I have that node marked and so with all of this said we weren't sure if he was gonna be out this way or if he was going to be back um, towards the village. So we checked under the village, we checked underground here, and we used our mini-map to try and locate where his base is. But we've had zero luck, so we're assuming he has a way to hide his base on the mini-map, and it's going to be near impossible to locate Snake. So I'm going to go ahead and show you really quick. If we were to dig down here, you're going to notice on the mini-map, if you're looking in the upper uh, right-hand corner, we can't find anything. Nothing appears. And we want to... I'm going to put the cords on the screen, because it doesn't matter. Everyone said his base was at Y27, but there's no actual proof of that, so I always dig down to Y1. Um, and the farther we dig down, the less likely we are to find his base, obviously. And we found a cave here, uh, which is kind of surprising. And the more I dig down, the more I can see. And there's really nothing down here that resembles a white square, which is what we're looking for for his base. Because Snake's base is a literal white quartz square. Now, for those of you that do not tune into my live streams, you would have no idea what I'm talking about. And um, if you guys want to check out my live streams, you can get a little behind-the-scenes information. And for you, those that do check out my live streams, thanks for joining. It's a lot of fun for you guys to be here and help me out um, try to find Snake's base. We spent the last two streams trying to find his base with nothing his base is so hidden it makes it so impossible to try and locate where he is i mean i have looked everywhere in this area i i mean i spent close to like eight hours just looking for his base and I, i've come up with nothing I, I i'm soon to actually give up on finding snake's base and to try to find another way to find his base because we found two new bases of people who may or may not know where snake's base is um, and we're going to go over that in just a sec, but I'll give you the plan. I know where Ticer's base is, and I know where Chatch's base is. They're brand new, Ticer and Chatch's brand new bases. I know where both of those are, but I don't know where Snake's base is, which is kind of unfortunate. And um, from what I understand, Snake actually uh, has given up on attacking my base for now because he realizes that he has been... Um, he, he, I wouldn't call it defeated, but he knows that he won't be able to break into my base anytime soon. Nukes don't work. Um, really nothing works into breaking into my base. Um, and it's really, really difficult. They've tried bombs, nukes, TNT, and they destroyed my roof three different times, which I had to repair three different times live on stream. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and show you guys Chatch's base and all of their bases. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get started. Okay, everybody, and welcome to Ticer's brand new base. Now, I actually, the only reason I found this is because of people on my live stream. So thank you to everyone on the live stream who was able to help me out here to find this base. It actually was quite simple to find when you guys were here. And it looks like someone else has been here because this hole was not there before. But here's how we located his base. You guys said that you guys could see um, my base from like 800 blocks away. So we headed out relatively 800 blocks away. You guys told me it was on a snow mountain, and you guys said this was it. Did a little uh, flying around, and we saw these little buddies sticking out of the uh, wall here. And we're like, hey, looks like we found Tyser's base. So that wasn't too hard. We found him live on stream, which was really, really awesome. And that was thanks to you guys. And then we also flew around and saw the digital miner. And the way you get into his base is right here. Uh, you break these dirts right there and that is how you actually get into the base um, and it's actually not hard at all and he knows that someone's gonna someone's found his base the fact that there's a hole there but we know he's here and so we can threaten him and try to get snakes cords from him and threaten that he'll die he seems to like to move near me he, twice he's lived near my base so I think it's time that we show him a little bit of a uh, a little bit of payback so we're gonna go ahead and put signs we're not gonna blow anything up um, but we are gonna put signs in his base telling him that he better back off otherwise he will pay the consequences and to do that, we're going to go here, and we're going to type in uh, wood. We need wood. Does he have wood? Oh, I keep spelling wood wrong. Wood. There we go. Let's uh, let's just take half of these woods for now, or 32 wood. Here, you can have a stack of dirt. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn these into wooden planks, which uh, two wooden plank or two stacks of wooden planks. Does he really not have a crafting bench? He has no such way to craft, unless he can craft in this, which he may be able to. Terminal style, terminal style, no. I don't think he has a way to craft. That's very interesting. Um, okay, so we'll guess we will make a way to craft. Um, 
We'll put a crafting bench there. And let's go ahead and craft ourselves some signs because that is what we need. I wonder if he had signs. I could have just used those, but I wasn't thinking, so that's no big deal. Go ahead and just make 30 signs. Should be plenty. Um, and let's go ahead here and use these. So we'll just throw that stuff on the ground. And we're going to just put some signs here. That didn't work. Signs don't always work. Hey there. Hey there, buddy. Glad to know you have moved. Just so you know, I will kill you if I see you. I mean, you got to let him know that he, he's pretty much dead to me because he betrayed me. I also have started to slowly locate, uh, locate, uh, we'll just do snake. And we're going to go ahead and go down here and we're going to put, if you want to earn your trust back, tell me everything you know about snake. And we'll sign off with just a nice rye guy p.s. dot don't mess with me. There we go. And I think that's good. That'll give a good message to him to basically screw off. You mess with me, you die. And just to leave him a nice little uh nice little gift here. We'll go ahead and now uh, we'll put these back into his machine. Here you can take the stair, you can take the sticks. There are they are his sticks technically. Here have a native uh oh wait, no, that's Thomcraft. I'll take that. Uh, we'll give him some marble. We don't need marble. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and leave him a little gift. Uh, I'm sure he has a nuke. And oh he has no he does not. But he has some nuke viruses. I have no idea what nuke viruses are, but um they sound dangerous. I have some myself, but it looks like he has some of my old carpet, which is ironic, because I chiseled that carpet a long time ago. Uh, what does he have that we can use against him? He definitely took some of my purple fantasy blocks. Unless he knows how to craft them as well. They're not too hard to craft, so it's, that's always possible. Um, but we need to do something to show him that we are... Oh, this is his head. Six of his heads. Let's go put these around. The, around. Here we go. We'll put these around his base. We'll put one up there. He'll see his head everywhere, and then we gotta top it off with something, something, we need something extravagant, something that'll show him we are powerful. Oh, we could always put a golem in his base. We could always put a golem. Ooh, that's something I could do. I might, okay, I might, I'm gonna go ahead and actually do that. I'm gonna go back to my base, create an advanced golem, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in his base, fully armored up and all of that, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll go from there. So I've gone ahead and created the golems, and I actually did it in a recording, but then the server crashed, and I had to wait a little bit. Um, and now the golems can't actually get back in his base, so I've already ordered them a little bit, um, and I'm not going to go ahead and show you how I built them. I basically just put them in here. All, all that happened before the server crashed was I put them in there, and then the server crashed. So they're fully built, and they're ready to murder. Um, we'll go ahead and make sure that there is no way out here. So we're going to go ahead and put uh, dirt back where it was. We'll go ahead and break like this dirt right uh, right there works. We'll break that dirt, and that should break a few dirt. There we go. And we'll go ahead and block this off with his two dirt like he had before. And um, now I have two golems sitting in there that when he logs in are going to go ham and absolutely destroy him. So that's just a little present for him um, because he is going to honestly face my wrath and understand why he shouldn't mess with me.